So one of the things I really like about electrical engineering is we get to see the world in all kinds of different interesting ways. So electrical engineers don't just see in color, they also see in sound. So we use ultrasound, ultrasonic uh, signals to measure the world around us. Sometimes we see in heat. So this is an image, a thermal image, showing computer screens that are hotter than the cabinets and walls around. Us. Sometimes we see in light, but it's not always the way that our eyes would normally see. So this image here is from this time of flight camera, which is a new kind of 3D camera. And you can see the pixels on the image, um, they don't correspond to color like our eye sees color, they're colored by distance. So the, the time of flight camera knows how far away each pixel is. And the image that comes back is actually a distance image as well as a, a brightness image. So what you end up with is a 3D image where things that are farther away, like the wall, are colored in blue. Things that are closer, the cameraman and tripod, are colored in yellow or red. So this is kind of a cool new technology. And we're actually in the middle of trying to adapt this technology for use underwater. On this model, we use a time of flight camera that's meant to work with infrared light, like this one on the bench in front of me, but that can't work underwater. So we use our own laser system to, uh, and our own optics to uh, send out just the right signal using a green laser. And then we can see things underwater in 3D, uh, just like this camera that a robot might use could, could see things um, above water. We're one of the only groups in the world that has an underwater time of flight camera. And uh, some of the students get to publish papers about it. Um, it's really nice to be able to involve students in cutting edge work and work that's, um, work that's in partnership with some excellent R&D engineers at other universities and at the Navy. So that's some of the research that we do to see the world a little bit differently.